Welcome to Awesome Video Game Memories, where we talk about awesome memories about video games. I'm Ryan, and the games we're going to talk about today are Call of Duty. Because I wouldn't really have a lot to say about one Call of Duty game, and because you played one, you kind of played them all. I'm going to talk about the games that I've actually played. So I admit, I'm kind of a casual Call of Duty fan. I mean, I don't really hate the series like most people do. I mean, I know it's the butt of all video game jokes like Madden, but I really don't think this is a bad series, even though I know the sales for the series has been dropping a lot in recent years. So I remember when the first three Call of Duty games came out, I didn't really play them. I remember um, I didn't play World at War, but the first one I played was um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the original one. And I remember really, really being blown away when I played that game. Um, I don't really remember a lot of it. I just remember it being so immersive and uh, detailed and it's like kind of happening right now because it's, you know, modern warfare. I mean, I remember, you know, fighting through um, the news station. I remember fighting through the ship. Um, I also remember being in the helicopter and bombing this farm. Um, like the environments in that game looked amazing. Now, the game that everyone remembers is Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, so with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, they took everything you loved about the first Modern Warfare, which was Call of Duty 4. So wouldn't Modern Warfare 2 be Call of Duty 5? I think they stopped numbering the series after that. Um, yeah, so we'll call it Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, so there's a lot that I remember about this game. I mean, I love the fact that they took everything I loved about the first Modern Warfare was um, incredibly immersive environments, you know, incredibly detailed environments that you interacted with. Um, like, everything that was happening around you, like, you were so submerged into it. So um, I remember um, in this game, like, you fought through Burger King, or, well, you know, restaurants. I look at Burger King. I remember my favorite level in this game was when you fought in Burger King, Modern Warfare in Burger King, it wasn't called Burger King, but still, you know, like you were fighting in um, convenience stores and restaurants, like destroyed restaurants. Like you were fighting um, in uh, residential areas that were like messed up, um, and you were fighting in like uh, Washington DC in the White House. Yeah, so after that, I played the first Black Ops, um, which is a really cool, um, it takes place like uh, during the Vietnam War and stuff, I think. Um, and you, you're in the present, but then you go back in the past, and then I remember, you know, like running in the rain on the roof and then you have to find that submarine. Um, I don't remember too much after that. And then I also remember playing Modern Warfare 3 and I was really looking forward to this one. I mean, it didn't have a lot of the civilian environments like Modern Warfare 2. Then I played um, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which I found pretty cool. Um, I don't remember too much of that either. Um, I just remember it being a lot like um, Black Ops 1. And then uh, the last Call of Duty game I played was Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I remember um, when you start the game, like, you're in space. And then after that, you go down to the ground and then there's this massive earthquake and you're running through these houses. Um, I didn't really play too far into it. I mean, I was kind of getting sick of the Call of Duty games being a yearly thing by that time. Um, um, I also um, remember playing multiplayer in these games. Um, I wasn't really that good. I was better at Halo multiplayer because you could take a couple hits before you die. In this game, like you take only like one or two hits and then you're dead. And I was really terrible at the multiplayer in these games. Um, I did a really terrible Let's Play of uh, Black Ops 2 a couple years back, which you can kind of click here and take a look. Oh god. Yeah, so now there's Infinity Warfare, Advanced Warfare, uh, your mama's warfare. I mean, I think now they're taking this game into the future. They're taking it into space. I mean, okay. I mean, how much further could they take the Call of Duty series? I mean, I remember one of the EA representatives saying, you know, um, Call of Duty is going to be remembered like Star Wars. I mean, well, I remember Chewbacca, but I don't remember any of the characters in these games besides Shep and Sokolov. I mean, I know the games make money, I know the games have been dropping in sales too, I mean, I actually would consider playing um, a Call of Duty game again if they actually had one take place during like the, you know, the Civil War, like Gettysburg, you know, like you're fighting with the Bayonets. Um, I remember my eighth grade trip, um, we um, traveled through Gettysburg and you know, I'd like to see a Call of Duty game taking place in that era. 
or actually what they can do is um they can still kind of make like something like modern warfare like your main character is like playing like a war game on his xbox in the game and then after that a war just breaks out like right outside your house and, and like you're in first person looking at it and then like you have to run and escape and you're and you're rescued by the army and so like the, then you then you go through military training and you know having like a call of duty that like takes place like that or Maybe just bite the bullet and have a Call of Duty take place in space where you're fighting aliens. I mean, reminds me of a certain game called Halo or something. Or, or, or better yet, um, have a Call of Duty taking place in a convention where you, know, like you see cosplayers all dressed up and shit. And then after that, war breaks out and everyone's running. And then after that, like, you know, like you're the trained military guy, you know, taking a break and yeah, like you're on vacation. And then like you have to protect all the cosplayers and all the panelists and all the celebrities. And, and like, you know, carnage is just going all over the place in like a convention and you have to protect them and shit. Yeah, come on, Activision. I think you can pay me to come up with Call of Duty ideas? Eh? Eh? Yeah, so that kind of wraps up my little Call of Duty retrospective. I mean, um, I think these are pretty good games. I don't think they're super great games, but you know, they make money. Um, they're fun to play. I mean, they're fun games to play on a weekend because I can beat these games on uh, the single player campaigns within like, you know, two or three days and I'm kind of done with that. Um, yeah, so um, if you want to get any of the Call of Duty games, they're easily on sale anywhere. I mean, you can like come download them from Xbox Live and PSN, um, or you know you can get them in the bargain bins at GameStop or places like that. Yeah, so that wraps up this episode of Awesome Video Game Memories. I'm Ryan, and if you have any memories about the Call of Duty series, make sure to leave those in the comments below. Take care.